Right, so today in the shop, I got this little project. This is a pellet stove. I'm going to try and use it to heat the shop. Um, I've been using, I've got a radiant heater that you clamp to your propane bottle. And it works fairly decent. It'll not chill out of the shop, but it'll eat up the propane pretty good. Then you got the fumes of the propane. So I kind of been wanting a pellet stove. Uh, something that hopefully maybe I can kind of leave on. This one is a bit smaller than what I was kind of hoping for. Um, but their pellet stoves are fairly expensive, especially new. And finding one fairly close to me is almost impossible. So, there's a few reasons why I did buy this one. One of them being that it was only 45 minutes away from me. Uh, the second was, this thing's pretty easy to work on. It actually has removable sides. So you can get in there and work on it. Um, so that's pretty nice. Uh, the other was, this one was pretty cheap. It was about 400 bucks is what I paid for this one. Uh, it's a Forester. There's a name on it. This one is approved for mobile home use. Uh, a lot of stuff has got to be special made or have special security things for mobile homes. This one's designed for that. Um, it's been... It's, it's, been kind of abused a little bit um, you can see the paint down there this thing the first few pictures on marketplace there was paint kind of splattered all over this thing well before I picked it up for whatever reason I think they thought it would sell better they kind of did a Craigslist marketplace rehab on it I kind of wish they had just left it alone honestly but that's okay. Um, it's got kind of a small hopper. I think really it'll only hold probably one bag down in there, but that's okay. Nothing else. This will give me an idea of how things will go. Um, I figured spending 400 bucks on this one, even if I got to put some parts into it to make it work, because I there's a hundred percent chance that this thing will not work right off the bat it has been sitting for a while and it smells very mousy um, it smells very mousy and you can tell it's been sitting in a moist area because it's all kind of rusted up so I'm sure the fan motors are probably locked up the auger motor is probably locked up did plug it in and it will power on but that's as far as I've gone with it until I get a chance to uh, clean this thing up uh, coming home you can see all this that fell out that's all dust from the pellets that have been burned so first things first I need to get this thing all cleaned up kind of take it apart uh, check all the fan motors out the auger motor and just give this a thing a good overall cleaning before I try and use it too damn much so let me get the shop vac set up here and probably the air compressor with a little air compressed air let me see if I can't get this thing cleaned up a little bit Yep, it was just a little bit full of mice. All oh, this is been coming out of here.
That's that blower motor housing right there. I may have to take that all apart. That's everything I've gotten out of that so far. <coughs> yeah. Good thing I didn't try it first. Anyway, I'll catch back up with you in a bit. <coughs> Alright. Been working on this thing for a while. I've got might be kind of hard to see. But I got most of the wood pellets right from around the auger down there. The worst thing possible for any of these pellet smokers, pellet stoves, is to let them sit any length of time with pellets in them. Because uh, those pellets will draw moisture and it will bind up. I still don't know if the auger is going to move or not. That dude is tight as all get out. I'm hoping it may free up, but I may have to pull the auger motor assembly out and get that all freed up. Uh, I think you saw all the mouse house that I got out of the exhaust port. Uh, so that blower fan is now functional. I hope it's free anyway. So I've got about all the cleaning done I'm going to do, I think. I'm going to plug it in here for a minute and see if it'll try and do anything. Hang on. Right. I have her plugged in and powered up. Good news is, um, I don't know what that means. Good news is the main exhaust fan's blowing. That's good. And I saw a few sparks. Of course, I don't have any pellets in it. But I did see a few sparks coming out of where the igniter is. That's a good sign as well. Um, problem is, I don't think that auger's moving. Of course, the augers move slow. Um, I don't have my light to see down in there. The augers move slow on these things, so it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, that's not moved at all. So I guarantee you that auger motor's either bad or the auger's bound up. So I'm going to have to play with it some more. We'll see what we can do there. Alright, I was able to finally get the auger freed up and moving. And that is dumping those junk, punky pellets down into the burn pot. That's good. <clears throat> Got to get all that crap cleared out of there. I was able to lock some vice grips on there and get that auger freed up a little bit and then the motor kind of took over on its own. I got to hold this safety switch down on the lid here in order for us to see it work. <clears throat> but so far... This purchase may be a good one. I spent more money on dumber shit. But yeah, so far, I'm probably gonna have to, I bet, that little window where those pellets are supposed to drop down into the burn pot, I bet it's plugged up a little bit. But I am glad to see that auger motor turning. That is awesome. And, uh, <clears throat> get that closed down. Oh, looky there. It's actually catching those on fire. This son of a bitch is going to work. Look, I got smoke coming out in the shop. <clears throat> Uh, 
That is awesome. Let me turn the fan or two on. Oh, look at there. This dude is going to work. I love it. Kick this one up a little bit. <clears throat> Get this fan going. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, a little smoky in here. There we go. Look at that. That's awesome. And then there's a fan motor down below. I don't know if we can see it or not. Right in there, there's another fan motor. And there's supposed to be a thermal switch that when this gets hot enough, it will kick that fan motor on and circulate the heat out into the shop. Oh, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, I think that was going to be $400 well spent, boys and girls. I do, I do. I was a little worried when I first saw it. But I knew I could get parts for it if I needed to and fix it if it needed to. That's awesome. I need to download a book off the interwebs. I'll need to get some piping and figure out where I'm going to put this bad boy and pipe it out. And I should have some heat for the winter. That'd be awesome. Well, alright then. I think that's going to conclude this one. <clears throat>